Hola Queens, it's your girl Queen T here, also known as the one and only fiance coach. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm so glad that you could join us. Do me a favor, make sure you share this channel with one of your best friends, one of your aunties, one of your nannies, whoever you think would find this information valuable. I'm just so, so excited that you're here today and I don't take it lightly, I really don't. Um, if you're willing and if you're up to it, I promise you this is a safe space. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can tune in each and every Fiance Friday. Whether you're a fiance or not, you clicked on this because something in you resonated with the title of this video. So you are meant to be here and I believe that you are not here by coincidence, all right? So there must be something in this message for you, just as there is something probably in this message for me. Um, I always feel as though I learn something as I'm delivering information to you ladies. It's a pleasure to be here, so thank you so much. All right, ladies, again, I'm the fiance coach. People call me Queen T. Uh, whatever you choose to call me, that's up to you. Just don't, you know, just don't try to, you know, disrespect and we're all good here, okay? I keep it real, keep it 100. That's the best thing about it. Yes, I am, I have a ministry that promotes kingdom marriages, uh, teaching women to be queens and teaching women how to live out their true wife goals. So make sure you hop over to IG and Twitter and follow me at the fiance coach. I almost said my old IG name, but it is at the fiance coach. You will find me. All right. So today, ladies, I have to say that this is a huge topic that I've been dreading talking about. Um, it is a topic you saw the name of it. Um, by this time, I haven't even posted it yet. So I don't even know if I'm going to put the full name in the title or if I'm just going to like use my code word code word, the S word to get you in here. Um, so you can see what the S word is, but we no longer have to treat the S word as if it's a contagious word because we're just gonna dive right into it and not be afraid of it anymore. The S word is the one and only word submission. Yes, I said it, submission. Um, as you are walking into wifehood, everything seems so exciting except for submission. And this actually comes from one of my uh, most recent videos that I did where I shared four attributes that helps you get closer to becoming a kingdom wife. And uh, God laid it on my heart to share the S word, submission. And I actually said the word several times. And ever since I, I uh, recorded that video, I decided that, you know what, I should dive deep into each one. And I'm gonna be honest with you ladies, the S word, AKA submission, um, isn't something that I feel like I could do in one video. I feel like it might be two videos, uh, maybe three max, because I'm always learning something new about it. Um, as I remind you, this is something that I'm also living. I am a wife, I'm newly married. I haven't hit one year yet, but we are close baby, okay? So um, submission is something that I'm learning each and each and every day. And let me tell you what I've learned about submission. I've learned that it is something that you don't arrive at. It is something that you constantly strive at. All right, ladies, so submission is not something that you arrive at. It is something that you constantly strive at each and every day. And how that happens is just exactly how the Lord tells us, is dying to ourselves each and every day. So we hear that, right? Not just in marriage, we hear that when it comes to um, just allowing uh, the Holy Spirit to take over and do things for us. Marriage has everything to do with that because let me tell you, there is so much in our flesh that goes against what, what marriage wants. We have a selfish nature in our flesh. We um, have spent most of our lives, you know, ever since we were adults taking care of ourselves. And now we have this other person that we have to consider. So it's really dying to yourself spiritually, not literally y'all, spiritually, so that you can allow the Holy Spirit to do things that your flesh wouldn't be able to do on its own and wouldn't want to do. Uh, that's the hard thing about submission. I do have some definitions here. I don't really have like a standard y'all to tell y'all like, oh, this is what you do to submit um, because it's different for each person. I, I've also realized that it's different for each person as I'm talking to some lady friends of mine who are also married. They're a lot stronger in certain areas than I am and vice versa. And this is why it's important to have these 
these type of groups because you can come together as ladies and you can share this information and advice to help make the, the journey a bit easier for each other. Um, I like to be transparent, so I'll just let you know. Um, Queen T very much came from this independent woman lifestyle. I have an awesome mom who just did an amazing job with me and my older brother, and she just held it down. And I look up to her and a lot of people say that, oh, you're just like your mom. Um, my mom would do so many successful things. And, you know, she was somebody that I looked up to and I still look up to to this day. And um, my, my mom just gave me the impression that, you know, she didn't need a man. I mean, she dated men, uh, but I just got this impression that she didn't need a man. And, um, you know, it comes off because she's very strong willed and it's not intentional i think it's just it just comes from experience and uh, my dad believe it or not said the same thing to me maybe about uh three four years ago he said well you know daughter i always look at you like you don't need a man you know you got it going on and I told my father, like, well, daddy, thank you, but, you know, I do want to be married. You know, I don't want to say I need a man, but I, I don't want to be this strong woman all the time. Like, it's exhausting. Um, it's not something that God called us to do. And um, I also talked about being strong in the Four Attributes video about everything that we think being strong is, is not. Um, you know, being strong, we think it's just you know, being aggressive and going diving right in and not being vulnerable and not showing tears. And it's, it's nothing to do with that. When you start to dive into what submission is, you start realizing that submission and femininity are very much alike. But something I've learned it, um, as I've been striving for submission each and every day. And ladies, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if I failed. I don't know if I'm good. Each and every day is different because every situation is different. Um, again, me and my husband, if you're not um, if you're not familiar with my channel, me and my husband actually reside in Germany. So just being in a culture where one, we don't speak Germany. We don't speak German, I mean. And uh, two, we've never been here before. So there are a lot of things that are new for us. Not only are we newly married, we're in a new culture, we're dealing with new language, we're dealing with new food. There's a lot of newness. And the thing about human beings is that it's hard for us to accept new. Uh, some people do well with change, but whenever change comes about, it causes some type of friction within human beings, no matter what it is. So can you imagine being and dealing with so much newness, but also dealing with someone else? It can be a challenge each and every day is what I was saying. So when it comes to Ephesians 5, yes, Ephesians 5 is where you're going to find where God actually talks about submission and submitting to one another. That's right, ladies. I did say submitting to one another because that's the thing that people tend to miss. They hear the word submission and they automatically think about the wife, but they constantly just overlook that God is also telling the husband to submit as well. Here it is. I'm going to give it to you. It's right in the word. Ephesians 5, 21. It says, submit to one another out of reverence to Christ. Now, after God says that, he goes into details about what submission means for the, for the wife and for the husband. But the overarching mission is to submit to one another out of reverence to Christ. So it's not for, as a lot of us think, like, oh, I got to submit to him for him so that he can be the boss of me. It has nothing to do with him because this is a mission that's, that is above him. And he is also being told to submit to you. So you have to realize that now it, it kind of takes some of the load off for me when I realize that, okay, submission isn't just about me uh, giving into authority in my husband. It's also my husband giving into some authority to me as well. You know, him learning that um, I'm... I, you can't talk to me how you talk to your homeboys, right? You know, you got to be a little bit more gentle with me. You got to be a little bit more kinder towards me when you communicate. Um, that can be difficult for a man because men can be so direct and men can be so straightforward with when they're communicating. And then you have us, these soft beings. And, you know, you just can't talk to us like guys. And ladies, independent ladies out there, um, you can't match your husband's communication with the same aggression because he won't receive it. So it's just when you're not submitting, you're missing the target. 
you're, you're not even falling into the target whatsoever. I wrote down the definition of submit in the word submission, and they basically say the same thing. The action or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another. So again, the overarching mission is submitting to one another out of reverence to Christ. It has nothing to do with your ego. It has nothing to do with your uh, husband's ego. This is all about Christ. And I think when we start realizing that, you know, each and every day I'm dying to what my flesh wants to do for Christ, not for my husband. I'm doing it for Christ. And, um, you know, when you do things for Christ, it's more pleasing and it's more acceptable. And he receives it well because he knows that you're doing it with a good heart and good intentions. You're not doing it um, because you're looking to try to, I don't know, get, try to like compete or something with who's submitting better over one another. So you got to be careful with that because the fact that it just came up, people might be doing it. They might be doing tick for tat and saying like, oh, I submit more than he does and yada, yada, yada. But if God is looking at your heart and he realizes that you're only submitting because you're keeping a tally sheet, I'm just going to kindly remind you to go back to 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Matter of fact, read 4 through 13 and just review it all so that you don't miss a heartbeat. All right. So um, that's talking about the definition of love by that. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. And yes, I have to constantly remind myself of that scripture because it is difficult. I have a few scriptures that I have to write down, ladies, to um to, to meditate on here and there. And uh, I won't share them all, but throughout this series, you'll probably hear me dropping some. I've dropped some before and I'm constantly, uh, new scriptures are constantly being deposited in my soul. Whereas though I'm reading through new books I've never read through in the Bible and I'm learning things. I'm, um, I'm listening to new sermons that I haven't heard before or sermons that were from years ago that I should have been heard, but I'm just hearing about. And it's just taking me to new material in the book that I never even knew about before. All right, so I talked about submission, and um, this is I want to give um, I want to give props to TD Jakes for this one. He says that us is submitting to we. When you think about submission, it's the goal of us submitting to the mission of we. So um, it's not only just about you. You have to realize that he has to submit just as much as I do. And you know what? Both of you won't get it each and every day. Remember what I said, you're striving for it every day. It's never something you arrive at. You're striving for it every, each and every day. It's a goal every day you wake up to that you remember that, oh yeah, I have to uh, live in submission today. And I think it becomes more natural as it goes along. I'm telling you ladies, me and S word are still kind of rocking a little bit. So I can't tell you if it's natural for me. I'm trying my best. Um, but there are some days where the Tarjay who's just used to just being a go-getter and getting up and just not, uh, just not uh, checking with someone to see if what she wants to do for the day is good. You know, and it, it doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, like if I want to go to the grocery store or something. But it's like if I wanted to go make like a $1,500 purchase or something like that, I got to communicate that, okay? Because that's going to bring up some issues that I don't want to deal with and vice versa. My husband will do the same thing. So it's a respect going both ways, not just one way. All right, ladies? So I'm trying to help us ease our way into submission and again i said that this might become a two-parter because i feel like there's so much there you can't just talk about um let me put this pencil down you can't just talk about submission in one take i feel like it's something that's so ongoing and so misunderstood that there has to be a lot a lot of dialogue around it because we hear about it and then we kind of forget about it but we have to constantly remind ourselves that submission isn't something that we just put in a drawer and we pull out when we want to. It's something, it's, it's a goal that we live up to each and every day. We're not only doing it because we want to be good wives. We're not only doing it because we want to have kingdom marriages. We're doing it because it's for the kingdom of Christ. I found something on this website called Marriage Ministry. I was just doing like a light Google search and it popped up that it said, um, submission is a wife making a choice not to overtly resist her husband's will. I felt like that was uh, a real good definition because 
I think that as women, a lot of us can be very strong-willed and we already have our minds made up about things. And um, believe it or not, when our husbands come up with ideas, we automatically think we have a better idea. And uh, we don't we don't look at it that way, but when we say it, it comes off that way. Like we don't trust that their idea is good enough. Um, so it's kind of like taking a back seat. And you know what I'm learning, ladies? Taking a back seat is not a bad idea sometimes. It takes the edge off. It helps you to relax so that you don't always have to be a deer in headlights on full alert. Um, I don't know where you work at, but when I'm at work, I just feel like I'm always on top of things and up in front in business. And when I get home, I just want to be, ugh, I just want to be vulnerable. I don't want to be making decisions when I get home. Um, it's good to have somebody that can make the decisions for us or somebody that I can communicate about things with because it's not all on me. And that's what makes submission beautiful. I can't believe I just said that. Yes, submission beautiful because it's not just you. You have a partner that you are spreading God's ministry with. It's not just about you. Your marriage isn't just about your kingdom marriage. Your marriage is about a, a much bigger purpose. It's about spreading God's faith, letting people see God in you and your husband as they see how you two interact with each other. That doesn't mean, oh, you have to have this perfect um, this perfect look on social media so people can see how great you are. It can just be how you are in public. You know, imagine like you two are probably at the gas station and he's pumping your gas or something and you know he's opening the door for you doing chivalrous things or you're at a restaurant and maybe he's ordering the food for you or you know just doing things like that people are able to see the god in you and i do realize that not only believers of christ do these things but i believe that there's a light in people who are believers of christ when they're out in the open and they're interacting with the public People see you in a limelight that you have no idea what they're seeing. You have no idea what they're thinking. You don't know the hope that you give others when you're submitting to God's mission. It's just a, a witting thing. It's not, you don't have to be perfect in it. You just have to have a heart that's willing to do it. You have to have a heart that's um, open to accept. That was, a, that was a synonym that I learned about submission. Submission, a good synonym for submission is acceptance. Just accepting the mission. All right, let me see what else I got. I also wrote down um, the definition for mission. And it was interesting because the first definition didn't really get my attention like the second one. And um, I guess it kind of came up because when you think about church missions and um, mission trips and things like that, this came up and I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. Um, so the vocation or calling of a religious organization, especially a Christian one, to go out into the world and spread its faith. Now we don't look at having a um, we don't look at having faith in Christ as a religion anymore. We look at it as a relationship because it's something that you constantly have to pour in each and every day. You know, you can have a religion. You can say you believe in Christ with your tongue and then go about your business and never communicate with Him, or you can choose to have a relationship with Him and allow Him to pour into you each and every day so that He can help your selfish um, ways and uh, deadly ways that poured you into corners of pain, guilt, and shame. Um, and I just know that's not where I want to go, and I'm sure that's not where you want to go. So it's better to have a relationship with Christ. But yes, it's to go out in the world and spread God's faith. It's to go out in the world and show the God in you. There is something in you, and when you and your partner come together, it's something beautiful, something magnificent. Um, you know, I don't like to really shout out... Um, social media couples but there are some couples on social media and you really do see the god in them you know you see when they come together the things that they make happen you know and there are couples that are out there just trying to take advantage of people and you know and just trying to like be like oh like look at us but then you really have some couples that's out there really doing god's work and that you you can just tell it's a genuineness it's not taking advantage of you it's there's no jealousy there it's pure genuineness and those are the 
kingdom marriages that you want to shoot for. The ones where it's genuine, the ones where we're not out here trying to front, the ones where we're not out here trying to be anybody's idols. We just literally want to spread the ministry of God. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be the first lady of a church. That doesn't necessarily mean that your husband needs to be a pastor on a, in a pulpit. Your husband's already a pastor. He's the pastor of your household. You're the first lady of your household. You already have a church. Your home is your church. So you learn to submit to Christ as Christ has submitted to you. It's just like a structure, y'all. I love doing a structure, okay, now? A structure where God is the head, the husband is next, and the wife is right after. Everybody works together. It has to work together. It can't function alone. God can function without us, but he put us here for a reason to spread his purpose and do his work. All right. So um, I hope that gives y'all a gist of submission. Uh, I feel like I was very like um, theoretical today, like talking a lot of theory talk. Um, hopefully I can get a bit more into like practical things. I'm going to pray on it, but this came to my mind today as I was meditating about what to talk to you ladies about. So I'm sure it's going to resonate with someone. All right. Again, as always, make sure you follow me on IG at the fiance coach. Leave me a message, follow me, subscribe to my channel, share my page with someone, do something, show some love, share this podcast. Love y'all. Have a blessed weekend and happy Beyonce Fridays. Mwah.